Hello, Landry here. We're going to talk about those things out there that we don't see. The quantum field. What's the Holy Spirit? What's faith? Unseen things are actually at the root of the most powerful manifesting skills or abilities or capabilities that we have. So much of it we're told to believe in, but so much of it we don't because if it's not in the material world, well, we have a tough time with it. And we allow the material world to control our interior thoughts, which is actually manifesting and fueling it. Manifesting anything, my free video series deals with this. And today we're going to address what about that unseen world? What about faith? How do we deal with the fact that we can't see all of the amazing things that are actually at the root of everything we manifest? You ready to go there? This is going to be a powerful one for you. Let's go. to Landria Anka on YouTube here to help you break through those fears and live an amazing life. You can. How? Well, we're on a dense planet where there's a lot of destruction, mostly against one another. Animals, plants, our planet. It's not a pleasant place to ultimately be because we're always dealing with these things that show up in the material world. But how is that happening? It's coming from within. Now we've read books. If you've read the Master Key System, if you're in my Miracle Circle membership, I train my students every month on the Master Key System. We go through it step by step. And it starts with one thing. Whatever you're thinking, you're creating. But how do you control that? There's a big conditioning that goes on. So everything you've been told as a child, that you have limitations, you should do this, you shouldn't do this. We spent our whole life, right, being trained and programmed. It's not easy to get past that because you actually believe all of that. And through the beliefs, you create limitations. And through those beliefs and limitations, you manifest them. How do you get past all of that. So I want to ask you, what is it you'd like to accomplish in your life right now that's not happening? Well, I can guarantee you, and if you're one of my students, you know this, that there is a belief that is causing a pattern or a limitation. And even if we say mantras and have our boards up here and, you know, uh, all these things that we say are true and, you know, I am this and, you know, there's so many amazing books out there, uh, teachings from hundreds of years ago, right? We still don't believe it because we can't see it. Now, a friend of mine, we're actually going to start doing podcasts if I can talk him into it. We talk about these subjects. He's a highly spiritual person, but we talk about it's really tough when you can't see something. One of the subjects I'm going to talk about is uh, George Van Tassel, who I've never heard of. I just saw a video recently and just amazing. And of course, what's the first thing we say? If somebody says they saw an alien and received, you know, high tech information, we think they're crazy. Why do we automatically think somebody's crazy just because we didn't see it? right? So if that person saw it and they share this information and it looks pretty credible, we are so skeptical all the time. Now, if I sat and told a um, caveman that, you know, we could fly and a plane went by, he'd freak out, right? Because he'd say that's impossible, it's you know, magic or evil or whatever. And that's really where we are in our density. All right. I want you to understand that's where we are in our density as humans. Now you, the essence of you is unlimited, but you as the unlimited being in your body is actually experiencing what it's like to have limitations. That's all it is. So when you know this, you can sort of work with it, right? So right now it's like, wow, if I have a limiting thought, that's a programming. That's part of me understanding what it's like to be limited because when you go outside of your body or you transition from the body, there aren't any limits and you know that. But it's so real here, right? It's a matrix. It's so real and it's programmed for us to experience that. We're just experiencing things. So we try so hard to put meaning on it. Don't try to do that because we're humans. And as a human being, an unlimited light being in a human body, you're going to experience that 
limiting thinking that you're never going to understand the universe. I'm not sure we do ever anyways. So let's, let's talk about the unseen world. Well, if you want to really get past that, and if you need proof, then there are all kinds of experiments out there that show that the unseen world that we focus on does change the material world. You can do it with plants, you can do it with water, you can do it with uh, the Dr. Emoto experiences with rice. Here's the unseen world where they bless rice here and it's white and then they curse rice over here and it turns black. And then there's still people that are skeptical that say, oh, well, that's not real. How much more do we need proof of to know that why do miracles happen? And of course, most doctors will say, oh, no, you never had it in the first place, or they have some explanation. We are so afraid to go into that space where there's just so much power that's unseen that we don't understand. If you let go of any thoughts about what it is, or what you are in it, and you just say, I am it. You know, I am is one of the most powerful words, you know, two words you can use, I am. All, all kinds of great spiritual teachings out there that tell you this, but if you're not believing it, that is at the source of the projection into the non-seen world. Now, so again, what's space? Space is the all intelligent quantum field. How do you get past this? And why do you need to see something to believe in it? Because if you're a Christian, you know that faith is unseen, but the results of faith is miracles, healing, uh, amazing things that happen. We have to go into faith as human beings because we cannot understand the quantum field. We can see the results, but when you go in faith, first of all, faith means you can't sort of be in faith. Faith is an all-in thing. So you have to watch yourself every day and ask yourself if anyone thought, first of all, criticize somebody else. I have Christians sometimes get on my channel, make comments, and criticize uh, something that I said because it doesn't adhere to their personal beliefs. Is that Christian-like? I mean, if we go into the quantum field of pure faith and love, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. We're all equal, beautiful, amazing beings here experiencing our life. Can you let go of anything? And the biggest, biggest challenge is to let go of fear. I'm afraid of what will happen to my finances. I'm afraid of my health. I'm afraid of my relationship. So you're actually projecting that into the future. When you watch every thought at the present moment, you start to recognize how many of those thoughts are negative and limiting. And that's not your fault because it's just who and what we are and your condition. But once you understand that it's really not your personal thought, it is a collective inherited thing that we all come with as babies who are perfect are told that you know we squash all the beautiful things about us. Your goal then is to understand it, observe it, and then to focus on that which you desire and know and have faith that you don't have to understand how it works. You just know thoughts are things, all right? Thoughts are things. This thought is a thing. And if you do this all day long and you say, I don't have to see it or know what it is, we like to think there's angels, so we picture something material of some kind you know, that we talk to, Everything's just intelligence, and those angels and beings are all just part of that, as are you. Just different frequencies. So a negative thought is a lower frequency, and it manifests things down in the basement, right? We're in a mansion, penthouse and champagne's at the top, and down here, negative thinking is dark, and you're down there with other negative thinkers. You want to get out of that because you will attract the negative situations and people on that frequency. And that's a thought, and that's how it gets created. When you're on a higher frequency of love, compassion, total acceptance, you don't have to agree with anything I say. I respect everyone's opinion, but I do know one thing. We are creating our own realities, and what you think about yours is your reality, and it's true. And to correct somebody else is to say that they don't have power and that you are somehow you know, uh, in charge and have all the answers. I don't. So... If that person is dictating any one thing, my question to you is, is that what you want to follow? 
Or do you understand that you can create whatever reality you choose and that might be anything? And you are allowed to do that. It's called free will. So use those thoughts and say, you know, instead of seeking outside of yourself, oh, this is how it works or this is what I need to do, whatever. Just say, I'm holding that power here. It's unseen and it's shared. And no one person has more than the other. We all have equal access to the unseen, intelligent world. world. Intelligent world. That's faith. You don't have to know how it works. But I guarantee you, and I'm, so many of you have done this because you're really going into that space, my Breakthrough Fear students are reporting off the charts amazing results. They're letting go of all the limitations, recognizing it, observing it, not fighting it. That's why it's called Breakthrough Fear. It's not Eliminate Fear. And realizing those are conditions, I have to work on this, i got to be on it every day, and then that opens it up. They recognize, so now the thought, the belief is, I know that's not true. I can, I can still have the thought show up, but I know it's not true. So then the universe says, oh, she knows it's not true. He knows it's not true. So, okay, I guess we broke through a barrier. I call it the gateways. Breakthrough fear course, we actually have discovery, and then we break through a gateway. Breakthrough. And you don't go through the gateway until you master it. So what do we have to do? Maybe not go into this, like, I, you know, okay, I, I believe in what, so, okay, it's showing up but I recognize that it's not real. I recognize it's conditioning. Oh, there's that program again. Oh, there's the ego again. Oh, there's criticism. Why would I criticize another? That's me, I'm looking at myself. Everything's one beautiful, intelligent energy. It's the one. And do you think that you are the one and that that other person who's a sinner is not part of what God created? We're all equal, we're all beautiful. Just different choices, everything's a choice. So, do you have to see something to believe it? Why don't you believe it? And then you'll see it. You've heard this a lot, right? I have to believe it first. So if you can't believe it, recognize that the belief that's limiting is not real. It's a conditioning and that you just observe it. You don't react to it anymore. And you just can say out loud, I am not that. I am unlimited. I am the intelligence of the universe. I am love and I am loved unconditionally. I am the source of all that I manifest in my life. And I choose abundance, health, love, compassion. And I ask, asking is given, right? I ask for all of the assistance, the right things to show up for me to achieve that goal. So you've already ordered it. In other words, you're choosing it. You're not asking somebody to do it for you. You're choosing, I'm, I'm choosing this. And so then the assistance will come in because it cannot infringe on your free will. You don't have to know how that works in the unseen world. So it's called faith, yeah. And so, you know what? Christ came down to show that all beings are beautiful and everyone uh, can be forgiven because we're just perfect light beings experiencing a very challenging planet. I hope this was helpful for you. My whole channel is Breakthrough Fear. If you go over to Landriaca's Zen Powerhouse, we deal very much with a lot of the things, how we live every day there. Um, I want to give you the tools to manifest anything. And if you've seen this is my free videos, we talk about, you know, don't limit yourself. Go learn how to create that life that you love. We have a focus on, everything I do is a focus on really loving your life and doing things that feel great and contributing to the planet and yourself. Take care of this. you got to be, you know, it has, has to feel good. So if you're out in the health industry or doing something that, you know, it's good for other people and it's not feeling good here, if it's draining you, it's just you've had enough, you can't take it, maybe you need to switch careers. It's okay. Go easy on yourself, all right? This is a very challenging planet and thank you so much for being here and raising the frequency of the planet one light being at a time. Come join my Manifest Anything free video series. Um, I've just revamped the whole thing. If you're on it, it's gonna start looking different. If you're on it and you've been on it a while, unsubscribe and go subscribe again, all right? Because, uh, and it's called uh, Manifest Anything, free inspiration. I'll put it down in the description. You can start over again. I've got added some new ones. It's got a different look. Um, Things have changed a little bit, but the principles are still the same. 
The unseen world holds every answer, all inspiration, every invention, idea, probability. You, as a co-creator, can choose anything within it with no judgment. It's a tough one, no judgment. So let's not judge one another either. Let's be the uh, change maker, the person that offers their light and love to another and watch it transform. Let that other person make higher decisions because you loved them. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. I love you. You and I are one energy field just experiencing something pretty darn amazing. Let's do our best here. Blessings, my friend. Namaste.